Hello folks, how y'all doing today? This is Super Dave for CertifiedHitsMusic.com uh, Today I'm just going to do a little tutorial. I'm going to try to do a tutorial like every Thursday, Friday and Saturday if I can. I try to post as many videos as I can, upload as many beat videos as I can, and videos from my artists and co-filmmaker, director, producer, Benji, aka DJ Sitspin. So, uh, just stay tuned. Today, I'm just gonna show y'all how to enhance a 808 drum. Basically, just through using sounds in FL Studio. I mean, everybody uses FL Studio nowadays. You know, it's pretty easy to use. At the same time, you can make some good music out of it. Um, I also use Reasons. Um, I use a little bit of hardware as far as like the Triton ASR10 MPC. Uh, I even do a little sequencing on Pro Tools. You know, whatever works for you. You know, I know a lot of people use different stuff, but uh, I'm just gonna show y'all what I use and what it, certain tricks that I do to like enhance the sound a little bit straight through the FL mixer. So first, I'm just gonna pick. the 808 through the vintage kit the BD2 so we just gonna hit that bam we gonna link it to our mixer channel then I use the bass boost and I turn the frequency all the way up to 100 I leave the amount alone sometimes depending on how hard I want it to kick I might turn it up but Basically, I'm just going to do um, 108Z on a frequency, and then I like to use the T-Rex Classic Compressor. T-Rex Classic Compressor is a good compressor. I use it to compress vocals as well, straight through Pro Tools when I do a little recording here at home, you know, my home studio. And um, sometimes I just go through the preset. I choose Bass 1. Um, the HPF high pass frequency I turn up to 120 and usually the ratio I do about 4 to 1 and uh, I, do, I leave the input drive alone I leave the output drive I might turn the attack a little up a little bit and release it a little bit more depending but um, just with the basic 808 that's in the FL studio I just you know do a simple little pattern just to show y'all how hard it kicked basically so you just put a pattern one put it in a playlist and now that motherfucker kicking pretty hard I'm gonna turn the volume down but um that's without even turning up the velocity, you know. See the difference? And that's without the bass boost and the compression. You know what I'm saying? You can make it like hit 20 times harder without even messing with the velocity. Like a lot of times I fuck with the velocity. Uh, excuse my language, but. A lot of times I mess with the velocity. It makes it hit harder too, but not as hard as it will hit when you do the little adjustments that I showed you. You can get T Rex, you know, A4 or whatever you do, you do to get it, you know. You can do the bass boost, you know, hook up the mixer again.
just a quick little drum pattern uh, I might show y'all next time how to like make your clap sharper your hi-hat sharper you know I do a little reverb effects you know how to make your kick drum sound more monstrous you know I might do some few beat making tutorials as well you know this is some real simple I can show y'all and hopefully you know you can use it to your advantage and I'm just gonna keep it simple I'm just gonna use simple little plugins and sounds that's already in FL studio next time I might just use the actual FL compressor that comes with FL studio just to show y'all how you can actually just use settings within it so you know you ain't got to go buy third party software you know so this is super day for www.certifiedhitsmusic.com and you know I'll check y'all out next week you know if any artists looking for beats holla at me go to the website www.certifiedhitsmusic.com I got a little deal going on get 20 beats for $14.99 it's on